In 2013, we started distributing a few food baskets, and now we regularly provide food basket aid to um, 400,000 people or more. And then we transitioned to also being able to, to distribute vouchers so people could buy the food inside Syria, which has the added benefit of enhancing the market inside Syria and people's livelihoods. We also want to work towards transitioning people away from getting distributions every month. And so we've started a livelihoods program so people can become more self-sufficient. The conflict has destroyed a lot of very well-developed livelihoods. So people are, have a lot of education, a lot of diversity in the marketplace, and that's been crushed. Yes, now, uh المشاكل اللي صارت بحلب والثورة اللي قامت وجيت نزحت لحل على دركوش وما لقيت شغل أنا بحكم شغلي ما لقيت شغل غير الأرض. Another project that we're working on that we really enjoy is solar irrigation. The solar irrigation systems that we have, which are nearly 20, uh, are currently irrigating about 50 hectares of land that are supporting pomegranates, uh, oranges, and other sort of fruit trees. الحلقات غالي المبيدات اسمده كله غالي اجت منظمه جول عنا و... وعمل استبيانات على اساس انه منظومه طاقه شمسيه فكنت من احد المستفيدين منها الله اكرمنا وركبناها بالسنين الماضيه صار لها تقريبا حوالي سنه هلا شغلوها وركبوها واشتغلت المنظومه و... All these farmers they either didn't have irrigation on their land or they had diesel fueled generators and as we know diesel is very expensive it's hard to access and so for the most part these pumps were not being used anymore وخففت شوي من مصروف المازوت وخففت شوي يعني كمان من من اعباء الترتب تبع الترتب تبع علينا بالتصليح الموتورات وهي شغلات انه يعني ما لها مشاكل هي الا مشاكلها بس يكون في شمس ما هي شغاله The way that we make decisions about which programs to get into are done in a few ways. One is feedback from the community. So we meet regularly with the local councils inside Syria. We also have done surveys. Um, we have post-distribution data. So we use all of that information from the people inside Syria about what their needs are. And we look at what other people are providing. So we know what we can do and we know what we can do well. دعم شجرة العطاء شجرة الزيتون في محافظة الدير قامت منظمة شفاف التعاون مع فندق الدول بدعم هذه الشجرة لما لها من أهمية وفائدة غذائية واقتصادية حيث قامت كلا المنظمتين بتقديم الدعم لثلاثة آلاف مزارع معظمهم من الفقراء ومنهم بحاجة إلى المساعدة وضمن الدعم تغطية تكاليف الحصاد وأقطاع في مساحة أربعة دلوم تغطية تكاليف عصر الزيتون تغطية تكاليف عملية التقليم العملية الضرورية ل خدمة شجرة الزيتون، أما مناطق العمل في المحافظة امتدت من منطقة حارم شمالا وحتى منطقة خان شيخون جنوبا. بدأ العمل بهذا المشروع اعتبارا من تاريخ 1 نوفمبر 2015 وانتهاء ب 31 آذار مارس 2016. معظم العاملين في هذا المشروع هم من الفقراء والنازحين والأرامل وبلغ عددهم 4740 عامل كاش فور وورك وبذلك يكون هذا المشروع قد حقق منفعة مشتركة لكل من العمال والمزارعين. have small business grants so these are for skilled tradesmen and people who uh, maybe had a business before the conflict it was maybe destroyed or they were displaced and now we're enabling them to restart their lives <laughs> صوابت عيني بدي زرع قرنية وصار معي الدسك وتلف أعصاب وفي عندي داني يسار كمان وقفت والحمد لله ضليت قاعد هيك صوابت ضليت شي سبع شهور ثمان شهور قاعد بعدين اجت منظمة جول عطوني الخرط وجهزت المحل هذا هيك من أربو the biggest problem that livelihood faces is that it's hard to find the place for long-term thinking in such a in a crisis. So a lot of people think 
livelihood support is meant for development. It's meant for countries that are stable but have a lot of poverty. It's not meant for um, such fluid context. We're constantly trying to sell the idea that no, now is the time to start. Syria has a very well developed market. It has very highly skilled people and people are still managing to find their way in the disruption and, and so that when the war does end um, that the market's able to recover more quickly.